All right, Shalom, Yasharallah, giving our honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh, Bahasim, Raka, Kodash, Brakata Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh, Brakata Yasha'Allah, Brakata Yahweh, Kahala, Kahala, Shalom, Shalom, Halawaya, Halawaya, gonna give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and will where we're seeing the construction. Of the tabernacle, David, more perfect tabernacle. Shalom to the Akim, Wakwa scattered abroad, and Shalom to the sincere believers of Yasharala, the hopeful elect, who have been quickening in these last days to stand upon their feet and bear witness to the word of truth. Um, this lesson is going to be entitled, There is a you in truth, but this is not about you. Or, you know, there is a, a you in truth, but basically saying there's a lot of guys out there that still have this um that are still um subconsciously holding on to that ideal of free will holding on to the idea of there's something that you can do on your own that there's that you being in the truth or any works that you do is of yourself man and that's contrary to everything that the scriptures taught teaching us man um i'm gonna start at isaiah 64 and I'll just get the point. Isaiah 64 and 6, it says, But we are all as an unclean thing, abominable, an abomination, man. We all went off at one point or another, especially being here in Babylon the Great. And especially in our captivity, we go off every day, man. That's why it's a lot of, um, a lot of guys that believe that, one, that you, by yourself, you can keep the whole law 100%. And that's just not true. And even if you do keep the law 100%, that's not that's not of you, man. Not, nothing that anybody does on this planet Earth is of them, man. It's of the will and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. And that's coming into this truth, man. The first thing, a part of that milk, is learning that we need to humble down and come up under the order of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, man. Everything goes back to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai through the order. And there's a lot of guys that... And that's why Matthew 7 is so important because there's a lot of guys that are claim bearing the truth or claim they know the truth, but they still have not. They seek, they're going about to establish their own righteousness instead of doing what, uh, let's get that. And then we'll jump back. Romans 10. Romans 10 and 1, it says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to how Bashim al for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahabashim Yashai, but not according to knowledge. It says, For they make ignorant of the Most High's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness. Hey, and understand this, man. For they being ignorant of Yahabashim Yashai's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahabashim Yashai. That I, 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 me, me, me ideology that a lot of you guys have, man, it puts you in direct opposition to Yahweh Bashim Yashai because there's an order to things, man. There is no I in this truth, man. And the you in the truth is not talking about you personally, man. All, everything goes back to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. And being in this truth, that's that's the first one of the first things that you have to come to the realization that this thing is not about you. It's not about anybody the, the the whole mission and goal of this truth, man, is to give Yahweh Bashim Yahusha the glory, man. To establish his name and to glorify his name here on the earth, man. To do his will, not to do your own will. Not to not to not to be not to create your own fan club and be a fanboy to men and do all this other weird stuff, man. Because all that is of the world, man. That uh, uh that me, man, I'm a that pull myself up by my bootstraps mentality that all that self-centered bullshit, man, it's not of the truth, man. It's not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So, uh, let's go back to that Isaiah. That Isaiah 64 and 6. It says, but we are, but we are all as an unclean thing. Even right now, man, even being in the truth, we're still an unclean thing in the eyes of, Yah of, of the Most High. That's why what we needed Yahweh Shai to come and to be our mediator, man. We need that go between. We needed that. We need that pure, perfect sacrifice. To what, man? To um, 
to uh, uh, ab- absolve, let's get that word, absolve us of our iniquities, man. So that what we could receive the promise. And that's, there's nothing, that's, that's a heavier point. Absolve. Absolve. It says, set or declare someone free from blame, guilt, or responsibility. Give absolution for what? A sin, man. And the only person that, and the only way we were get up, the, you know, the only way that the nation of Israel has been absolved from their sin, you know, especially, first and foremost, the elect on this side is the sacrifice of Yahweh Shah, man. So there's nothing that you, there's nothing you can do to, hey, there's, this thing is not about you. You didn't get up on that cross. You didn't keep the law 100%. You didn't, uh, um, you didn't, hey, <laughs> you're not, you're not even the focal point of the Bible, man. The Bible centers around, first and foremost, Yahweh Shai, man. Everything points to Yahweh Shai and Yahweh, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man. We're just here. We're just his ambassadors here on earth, man, to be representatives of the most high, man. And even that is not of ourself, man. Get out. Get out of that self mentality, man, of this. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. And start giving all the glory to how about Shema Shai, man. And ultimately, that's that uh, Malachi 3 and 16. That's how you discern between somebody. That's how you discern between who serves the Lord, and who doesn't, man. You know, the uh, man of the Lord, a true man of the Lord. It's going to always, 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 first and foremost, put your Habashim Yashah before everything, man. Every He's going to always say through the will and power. You know what I'm saying? Everything is going to be your Habashim Yashah. There's not going to be any mention of self because we're all what? Uh, um, an unclean thing, man. And all our righteousnesses, righteousnesses are as filthy rags, man. And even if you did keep the law all the way, and you, even if you were this upright man of God, man, it's, it's as a filthy rag because you're, hey, where, uh, the scripture said in um, the book of Luke, when you have done all that you were supposed to do, still say that we are an unprofitable servant, man. At the end of the day, what we're, quote unquote, doing through the spirit power, how about Shemiah Shai, it still makes us unprofitable servants because we did what? As we were ought to do, man. You know, you know, uh, when I was growing up, man, uh, even though, no, it made sense as a child, man, my father used to tell me all the time, man. I'm not gonna reward you for getting for doing getting good grades in school. That's what you're supposed to do. I'm not gonna reward you for doing your chores. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to carry your weight here around the house, man. I'm not gonna reward you for doing the things that are just average, man. The things that you're supposed to do. The thing, you know what I'm saying? Nobody gets the Nobel Peace Prize for being a, 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 you know what I'm saying, a good person. You're supposed to be a good person, man. And it says, and we all do fade as a leaf. And our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away, man. We've all, what? There must come a falling away first, and that happened. Every last Israelite, every last Israelite fell away from their heritage, man. Every last Israelite uh, went off, man. And one incarnation or, and one in our incarnation or, or another, man. So you guys who just have this ideology of me, 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 I, I, you know, I keep the law. I go out and teach and preach the word, um... I make these edifying videos instead of saying, giving the uh, praise and glory to you. How about you, man? Hey, man, you're, you're, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to make this thing about yourself instead of taking things and putting them into the proper perspective, man. Even still, man, you, you even getting this knowledge is what? Ephesians 2 and 8, man. It's the gift of the Heavenly Father. Um. What is it? Uh, so this is Proverbs 20 and 24. It says, man's goings, man's goings are of Yahweh Bashim Shah. How can a man then understand his own way, man? And when you go into that word, that phrase for her own way in the Hebrew and gives you this. Strong's H, 1870. Derech. It says, Derech. 
So like it says, way, road, distance, journey, manner, roadway, path, journey, direction, manner, habit, way, way, of course of life, man. Your whole, everything that you do from day to day, man, even the, the, the things that are thought to be minuscule and small, man, the what shirt you wear, your, uh, uh, are you, what food you eat, man, all that has been planned out for me. How about Shamal Shai? From the, from the beginning, man. Everybody got to understand that you just, you're just you just an actor in, in this role, man, working for that penny, man. Everybody's going to get paid the same penny, man, for being a part of this ministry, man. And that's through the grace and power of Yahweh by Shemel uh, um, I think it's John 5. So this is John 5 and 19. It says, then answer Yahweh Shai. Well, let me get the point. Let me get let me get all the, the juicy stuff. John 5 and 17. But Yahweh Shai answered them, My father worketh here uh hitherto, and I work. Therefore, and that's a that's that's um that's a heavy point to harp on. All throughout the ministry of Yahweh Shai, he never took the glory for himself, man. Every time, everything was always in the name of the Father. He said, I come to do my Father's work. My, uh, uh, um, if, let my Father's will be done. My Father, my Father. He always made mention of the Father. Not, not once did he ever take, try to exalt himself or take the glory of himself. And even in the examples in the scriptures where they sought to make him a king, man, he fled. Because Yahweh Shai, uh, Shai submitted himself to his Father, man. And as being his, what, servants... We need to submit. We need to come into the same manner of subjection, man. This thing is not about us, man. Verse 18 says, Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that the Most High was his father, making himself equal with the Most High. Then answered Yahweh and said unto them, Verily, verily, say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also do with the son likewise, man. And God, that's a very heavy point, man. We don't do anything that the Most High has not put the Spirit upon us to do. Give him the credit. Give him the glory. Stop with this I, I, I shit, man. It's, it's, it's really vexing. And ultimately, it just shows that you lack understanding, man. Verse 20 said, For the Father loved the Son and showeth him all things that himself doeth. He will show him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. For as the Father raises up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth who he will, man. For the Father judges no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son, man. So we got to understand the order, man. There's Yahweh, then there's Yahweh Shai. That's why we say Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Not Yahweh Bahashim, uh, me. No, there is no you in this thing, man. You don't do anything. You don't do anything important, man. You just do. You you follow orders, man. And and let that be enough, man. Be content with that. Be content with the fact that you are in this truth, man. And, the, and there's a multiplicity. The vast majority of people are not, man. John 5 and 23. It says that all men shall honor the son even as they honor the father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which has sent him, man. So if you, hey, that's a double-edged cut, man. Because if you don't want to honor Yahweh Shai, man, you can't honor Yahweh, man. And if you're not honoring Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, you're not keeping the whole law, man. John 5 and 23, that all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father, man. He that honor if not the son, honor if not the father, which I've sent him, man. Verse 24. John 5 and 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. Because what I seek not mine own will, 
but the will of the Father which have sent me, man. And that's the ultimate, the whole mission statement of the of the, the ministry of the prophets, man. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just because what? I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which have sent me, man. You cannot do anything of yourself, man. This is of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. This is of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. That's why, hey, man. That's why, ultimately, that's why I will, I, if through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, I will follow the men of Great Millstone because they understand, they do, man, just the characteristics and attributes that they exude, man, it's just, it's, ab it's admirable, especially amongst all these other camps in Israel who just have this carnal sense of, you know, bigging themselves up, man. You got a lot of guys that just made, that try to make this truth into like the rap, the rap industry, man, of flexing on somebody or, you know what I'm saying, trying to be the the, the next big thing, next big thing instead of doing the work and will and, and, and submitting yourself. To the order, will, and power. We how about Shmuel Shah, man? Now I'll grab one more scripture. I'll grab a couple more scriptures, and then I'll close it out. Is, is it Wisdom of Solomon the second chapter? So I can. Oh, dang. I'm going to get this one, and then I'm going to get what I want. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9 says, They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, man. And that's why a lot of people don't understand it. It's, again, the I, 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 me, me, me spirit, man. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and be have care for his leg, man. We are servants, man. And there's nothing wrong with being a servant. We are servants. What? Let me see. Let's get that. Let's open up another tub. servant it says personal or domestic attendant servant foot soldier man to attend wait upon man we are we are the foot soldiers of Yahweh Bashim Shah man we're not uh, you know what I'm saying he's he's the general he's he is the guy let him be the guy let him get especially how Shah let him get his glory We'll get we'll get our uh, our you know what I'm saying our accolades we'll get our we'll get our toots toot of the horn in the kingdom man right now let Yahweh Shai Yahweh Bashim Shai get their 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 glory man let their name be magnified in the earth man let that happen let hey just submit yourself to the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai man but um. Uh, Gonna get that. Yeah. 
and corrupt. Copy, done. Go back, search, paste, search. Apocrypha. Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 1. Let me go view chapter. Let me go back to Wisdom of Solomon 11. Get the meat of the poem. Let's just get, let's start at Wisdom of Solomon 11 and 24, 23. It says, but thou hast mercy upon all, for thou canst do all things and winkest at the sins of men because they should amend, man. And that's, hey, that goes to um, the scripture. And I think it's in the book of Acts, say, um, in the, um, past times he winked at our ignorance, man. But he now requires all men to, to repent. And that's the, talking about what all Israelite men, mankind of the Israelite uh, lineage, man. And he has had mercy upon us through what? Ephesians 2, man, the, the gift the gift of this faith, man. The uh, uh, sending his son, sending his son to be a sacrifice for us. That was a big show of mercy, man. For thou lovest all the things that are, and abhorrest nothing which thou hast made. For never wouldest thou have made anything if thou hadst hated it. And how could anything have endured what if it had not been thy will or been preserved if not called by thee? Verse 25 again, it says, And how could anything have endured if it had not been thy will or been preserved if not called by thee? And that reminds me of Romans 9 to 13, you know, who has resisted the will of the Most High. So just so get out of this mindset of you, man. There's no you. There is no you. The you, there is a you in truth, but nobody cares about what you. Nobody gives a fuck about you, man. Everything is about you. How about Shmi Al Shah? Says, but thou spare us all, for for they are thine, O Lord, thou lover of souls. It says wisdom of Solomon two and one it says, for thine incorruptible spirit is in all things. Everything follows the will and power. How about Shmi Al the earth? The animals, men, whether it be in righteousness or wickedness, man. And there, there is no, no reason, there's no if and buts about it, man. Hey, he is the Lord God Almighty, man. When you go into that word Almighty, it says, He who holds sway over all things. And we'll get, um, actually, man, the point's been made, man. Again, man, get out of this mindset of, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 I, 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 man. Because if, you, if you're if you in that mindset of you, 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 I, I, you're not in the truth. You're, you're really not. So Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. For Yahweh Shai and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For Yahweh Shai shall bring every work into judgment of every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. With that being said, Hallelujah.